Did you know that within the year, the first year of the PlayStation 5, there has been 80 free PlayStation 5 upgrades? Well, unfortunately now, some of them have come and gone and they were only available for a specific time. Still, there are a lot of good free PlayStation 5 upgrades, which I think is amazing. I recently just picked up the new PlayStation 5 last week and I was so excited to upgrade a lot of my PlayStation 4 games that I bought to see really the difference between the generations. And unfortunately, they're not all free. Any, They're anywhere priced between $10 and up to $30. So I was a little bit discouraged when it came to the pricing because it's hard for me to buy um, a game that I already have just because the resolution might be a little better, the frame rates might be better. Because I was playing on the PlayStation 4 Pro, graphics and the performance was generally really good. And to spend an extra money for the same game with a little bit of update is difficult for me. So I wanna talk about how do you update your PlayStation 4 games to PlayStation 5 and just the direction that Sony is going in the future. So let's talk about it. So it is easy to upgrade your games from PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5. All you wanna do is go to your menu. You're gonna go all the way over to the right and you're gonna see the menu, the media library of games that you have either downloaded or played. You can search up in the top for your collection and you're just gonna find the game that you want to upgrade and it will give you an option for two items. When you see the two items, it'll say PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and you can simply click on which one you want and download it. I downloaded Final Fantasy VII Remake a couple months ago when it was free on the PlayStation Plus service. So to get this free upgrade, you can't just click on the game itself. It says that there is only PlayStation 4 available. So to get around this, you can go to the PlayStation Store and type in Final Fantasy VII Remake. And when you do this, it will give you an option to click on the game. It says game, game, and you, <laughs> for some reason, and you click on the second one, and it will give you an option to download the game. And this is a good free upgrade of the Final Fantasy VII Remake. So, and this is true with other games. If you can't find it in your media library or the games that you've played before, you can go into the store and see if you have a free upgrade. Now, if you bought the physical disc, you're gonna need to use the disc while you're playing the upgraded version. For some reason, PlayStation won't give you the digital game for the PlayStation 5, which if they did, I would think you wouldn't need to use the disc, but for some reason, if you have the physical disc that you have to keep the disc in as you play the game, Small minor setback, I think, in my opinion, but at least you can get the free upgrade. Now, I bought the Ghost of Tsushima game for PlayStation 4, and I wanted to upgrade this game to the PlayStation 5 to really see the difference of the older generation to the new gen. And unfortunately, Ghost of Tsushima is $30 to upgrade, which I think is very expensive. And on the PlayStation 4 Pro, you can get upscaled 4K on certain monitors with HDMI cables of 2.0 or 2.1. For me to spend an extra $30 to get the next gen experience, I think it's a little bit expensive when the PlayStation 4 game was amazing. I don't think it's worth you know, spending the extra money to get the next gen a boost in resolution and frame rates. Unfortunately, I think we're, you know, taking a little bit step back when it comes to upgrading with, in my opinion, I think the PlayStation 5, you know, if you've already bought it, I think it should be free. Yes, I understand that development is very hard. It's, you know, it takes a lot of time, but for a gamer to buy a game twice, you know, it's just not realistic. You know, they're not cheap, especially if you spent seven, 60 to $70 on a new game. It's not worth buying the same game twice to get a little bump, to get a bump in resolution 
and or frames per second. I did forget to mention that game saves will not be able to, you can transfer, transfer the game saves from the PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation 5, but because of the versions are different, you are gonna have to restart the game if you want to upgrade from the PlayStation 4 version to the PlayStation 5. They say some developers will let you do this, but in my opinion, isn't very easy to do and it's not worth taking your time to try to figure it out and doing your own research on it. It's just another thing to think about when you are upgrading from the PlayStation 4 version of the game to the PlayStation 5. It might be just easier just to stick to the older version. Go down in the comment section below and let me know what do you think. Do you think the PlayStation 5 upgrades should be free or are you okay with spending a little bit of money to support maybe the developers and the you know company that makes the games a little bit of money maybe like ten dollars let me know what you think let's uh keep the conversation going down in the comment section so, below i don't know if you've listened to the recent news about the playstation 5 and playstation 4 but sony just announced that they will continue to make playstation 4 consoles so that way if you can't get a playstation 5 you may want to buy a playstation 4. i kind of disagree with this like i understand you we have a problem here with the playstation 5 but to sell an older console when i feel like the playstation 5 is going to be we'll get through it very soon and unless they come up with a discount discounted playstation 4 to make it a little bit cheaper but i think currently it's going to be around 300 dollars us for a new playstation 4 when the digital or the regular disc version for the PlayStation 5 is 500, you know, it's it may be worth just waiting to get the PlayStation 5 and just hanging in there. Um, that's what I did to continue, you know, making the PlayStation 4. I think that's fine if you want a PlayStation 4, but if you're really wanting the PlayStation 5, I don't think it's worth spending $300 to get a new PlayStation 4. Overall, I hope the uh, PS5 upgrade, either we get cheaper upgrades or we, or they find a solution so that everyone can get a PlayStation 5. But unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait this one out to see how everything pans out. The PlayStation 5 is great. I hope you guys can get your hands on one as soon as possible. Have fun gaming and I'll see you guys next video.